Hey, what's up guys, it's Dulos. Uh, today I'm trying to fix the third brake light on this 2007 Honda Civic. Um, it intermittently goes in and out, and I tried fixing the soldering points before, just briefly, but I'm gonna pull the, all the solder joints out and replace them today. Uh, let's see if it even works right now. Sometimes it'll work for a little while and it'll stop working and come back. It's really uh, intermittent and I'm not buying a new part. We can just solder it. All right, so let's see if you can see from back here. It's a tight fit. Um, basically, you just gotta pop this panel off. Um, I've done this a couple times before and it can be a little tricky. Um, you feel like you're gonna break it, but uh, use pry tools if you want. Um, we'll see. We even need them. It's just gonna pull up on the plastic and as it begins to just pop up. You feel it. Again, be careful. But I've done this a couple times, so it's a little loose. But I uh, see it's gonna pull uh, right out of here. Um, there's a couple connections because the speakers are all mounted to the rear deck here. This is just the grill through the speaker and the actual third brake light. Uh, there's a wire underneath that we're going to disconnect here uh, in a second. And then uh, you actually pull the seatbelts out. Pull the seatbelt out actually just one through the slot there. You can see there's a couple connections up here. But um, it's just this one right there that we're going to pry out. This stuff's obviously for the subwoofer and you got speakers, but it's just this one for the brake light. Bump that ISO, it's gonna be a little grainy, but you can see it. Okay. And you have to pull that out. And then this pulls off of the deck lid. This is well. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> My bad. This just slides off the clip. All right, while we're letting the soldering iron heat up a little bit, we've got to take off this ring for the subwoofer, and then we can take off the screws for the actual brake light here. So just Phillips head. Definitely solder in a well-ventilated area. Six screws out for the subwoofer ring, and this just comes off the side. And then we can take these larger screws out here for the actual brake light assembly. And those aside. Now you can pull the wire loom out of this little clip here. This whole thing can separate here if you need to replace the whole thing. But it's not make life too difficult. You can see I've already jerry rigged it with some. Electrical tape last time I was in here. Um, I didn't fully desolder the connections. This negative goes to the light, this negative goes to the light, and then this positive and this negative goes to power. Um, so let's see if we can get these soldered. So again, you want to do this in a ventilated area. Let's just see if we can clean up the solder here. I think it's the power connections. I don't think it's the connections to the actual light. If you look at these, they look pretty, pretty gross. So let's see if we can just heat them up and redo it. All right. So you can see the wire's pretty nasty, so let's restrip that and clean that up. And uh, let's look at these connections here. Make sure we've got no cross contamination here. Got to make sure that these positives aren't don't have any solder connecting the two and shorten it out. You can see the board looks pretty grimy. I'm trying to clean that board up a little bit. Alright, now you can see that, but the connections are pretty bad, so I'm going to strip the, uh, the outer, the rubber out. I'm going to strip the... Oh, why am I losing my mind? Alright, I'm going to just take this outer coating off 
and strip these wires back and get a clean connection uh, so you can resolder on there. Clip the ends off. Totally botching this thing up pretty good here. So I've got it glued back up and through there. Let's get it reattached to the big old hunk of plastic. Alright, I suppose if we're smart, we'll hook it back up, see if it works first. Let's go to the videotape. Alright. That's there. Let's get those two big old screws back on there. Concrete step kept them. In good order. Yep, alright, so that goes through there and through here. And then the subwoofer ring goes back over. And we'll put these six screws back in. I think I've only got nine and a half minutes left of recording on this SD card, so I'm gonna cut it out now and we'll cut back in the car. You guys know how to put screws back in. All six screws and the subwoofer ring back in. Got the two screws for the actual light. The wire weave through the slot. And uh, let's go give it a whirl. Alright, so get it up here. First thing you want to do is find your wire. I have probably a little less room now. Because uh, it just, I trimmed it in a way, it's weaved through there. But uh, it should drop it right through this big hole back there. I'll show you from the trunk. Push the seatbelt through here. Uh, yep. Okay. Get in the back first. Uh, that's the hardest part to get it up against the glass. Let's give it a couple knocks. This was your car, I'd be a little more gentle, but we're in there and I know I know it's not gonna break it. Alright, let's go see how it looks in the back. We right, see got the wire coming down out of the hole. It came out of the loom a little bit, but or the heat shrink, whatever you want to call it. It's not really heat shrink though. And uh, I'm just gonna reconnect this. Alright, first thing we get this back, slide this back over the tab clip thingy that holds it to the... Actually, I don't know if I'm going to do that because i got the loom so short now. That's okay. It'll, it'll live. It'll live. Just to protect it. We got stuff in the trunk, but that's so tight. It'll be fine. Alright guys, if you liked the video and helped you out, please like, favorite, subscribe. Remember, keep standing up for what's right, and may God bless you. See you next time.